Today I'm going to show you how to make some block wax crayons like these ones, these are the Stockmar ones but they are extremely expensive and if you have a lot of children and not a huge budget then maybe you want to have a go at making your own as well. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to need some beeswax. You can have a solid lump of beeswax and just grate it if you want or you can buy it like this. You need some soap, just some pure, plain, unperfumed soap. Some um, coconut oil, it doesn't have to be coconut oil, it can be uh, olive oil or vegetable oil, anything just to stop the foil from sticking to the wax crayons. So that's the other thing you need is some foil. And then you're going to need some food colourings. I've got the gel food colourings here because they seem to have better pigmentation. And then also you will need a saucepan, a, a dish to go in there and something to stir it with. I'm using this silicon one because if it was wood it would absorb the wax, uh, but this won't, this will just wash off. So that's why I'm using a silicon stirrer. The first thing we're going to do is make the mould for the wax crayon. So I'm just greasing this with the coconut oil, but like I said you can use any oil that you would like to stop the wax from sticking. Then you can, if you've already got some block crayons, you can use that to make your mold. Or if not, then you could perhaps use an eraser or you could use anything else that is of a similar shape and size to the wax crayon that you want to make. You, you could even use a silicon mold if you have one. So I'm just going to push the foil around the wax crayon here. There's my mould. I forgot to mention the other thing you're going to need is a grater. I'm going to grate some of the soap. I'm just going to add seven grams of beeswax and the same amount of grated soap, but first we'll melt the beeswax. So I've got some water in the pan and that's going to heat up the bowl on top and inside the bowl I've got the beeswax and that's just melting. Once that's melted I will slowly add the grated soap. add some food colouring um, and you'll just have to kind of guess the amount that you need because it will depend upon what food colouring you've got. add a drop of peppermint oil. You don't have to do this but if you do want to make the wax crayons smell nice you can just add a flake but 
any essential oil that you like. Just show you how they draw now. That's the red. Now the red didn't come out very well, so I think next time we need to put more of the red dye in there. Uh, you can actually melt these back down and then we add more food colouring to it, so it's not a waste at all. And here's the stock mark red. So you can see the stock mark where we've got a much higher pigmentation. Then here's our orange. Now that's come out beautifully and here's the stockmar orange so actually i think ours is even better than the stockmar so that's a good good one this is the yellow that's a quite an orangey yellow here's this stockmar yellow and again i think ours might look even a little bit better here's our green and here's the stock green. Quite a different green, but I think both are as good as each other. Here is the blue that we made. And here's the stock blue. I think they're quite similar actually. And then lastly, we made a purple, which is not coming out that well. Oh, there we go. It's quite a greyish looking purple. And here's the Stockmar purple. And I think I prefer the Stockmar purple. But overall, I'm really pleased with how they all look. And I will still buy Stockmar crowns because they are very good quality, but it's also good to be able to make our own when we haven't got enough money to get these Stockmar ones. I shall leave links below to how to make the crayons and where to get the ingredients and also a link to the stock of crayons if you just want to buy ready made good quality block wax, block these wax crayons. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up, let me know in the comments below if you tried to make your own and how that turned out for you. Um, and that's it, thank you very much for watching and see you soon, bye.